So, here's another deep topic. Where are you? I don't mean your physical location, like where do you live or where, what room of the house are you currently in. When you think about your identity, your person, the, the part of you that when you say, I, where is that part of you? I want to take you on a little journey something that my mind has been pondering for a number of years and just see where it goes. So here's an idea. Um, I'm going to uh, mutilate you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean nothing by it. I, I seriously, I mean you no harm. But uh, in your imagination, I'm going to take you apart. So to start with, uh, say you are in a terrible accident and you lose an arm. Your arm is over there and you're still here. Where do you perceive yourself to be? Where are you? Are you in your arm or are you over here? Now for myself, I'm not going to answer for you, but I'm just going to say this from my perspective, and I, I have a feeling that mine is going to be similar to yours. Uh, I'm not in my arm. Uh, I'm here. My arm is over there, and it's terrible, and I want my arm back, but uh, the part of me that I refer to as me is is here. So we're going to take off your arms and your legs, okay? Uh, your head is with your torso, okay? Now, I assume that you didn't go with your arms or your legs. If you are having heart problems, we can take out your heart and put in a machine to replace it. Your blood will keep flowing, you will stay alive, and where are you? Are you in this heart that's no longer doing anything? Or are you still with this torso and head that is pumping blood via a mechanical device? Uh, personally, I'm still here. I'm not in that organ that has been removed from my body. So if you take my lungs and you take my liver and you take my kidneys and you take my spleen, <laughs> you take, take everything, and replace it all with machinery that just keeps my body functioning, uh, I'm still here. None of those organs that were inside of me are something that I feel defined my sense of self. So a person can be blind and they are still themselves. So we are not our eyes. A person can be deaf a person can have no sense of smell, a person can have no sense of taste, a person can have no sense of touch. So we are not our senses. So take away all of that and you know uh, I don't particularly need my rib cage and this torso that's just, just housing a bunch of fake hardware uh, anymore. If there was a device that would essentially keep my brain alive, uh, I feel like I am in my brain, not in my body. So here we have the brain, okay? And this brain is a, a, an alive brain. And it's just a brain but it's an alive brain. It's aware that it is a brain and nothing more. Oh, I just smashed it on my leg. <laughs> um, now the thing is, with brains, uh, over a certain amount of time, and I've forgotten which, it's something like seven to ten years, Google it, the brain regenerates itself. 
it sheds old cells and replaces it with new cells. Uh, and, and these new cells typically would come from uh, the body that it used to have. <laughs> it would produce them and, and replace them. Uh, so now it's a brain by itself. It needs these cells to come from someplace else if it's going to stay alive. It also needs some source of oxygen to hold it to keep it alive. But we're going to assume that technology has worked this out, that, that the brain is being able to remain alive with the things that it needs to remain alive. As the old cells die off, what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that whether we're far off in the future where technology has created these little gelatinous uh, synthetic cells that mimic organic cells perfectly. So that if I remove one cell from this brain and I stick one of these synthetic cells in there in its place, the brain recognizes no difference. All right. Now, a brain, naturally, it, it, it already does this. It does, eventually, it replaces all of the cells that bake it up with new cells over time. And it does this uh, several times over the course of your life. So the brain that's in our head that we say that I am of the opinion that I am in the brain can be it can have its cells replaced and if we replace it at the rate that it would be replacing them normally with synthetic cells that act exactly like the organic cells that they are replacing eventually little by little this brain where I am is going from an organic thing to a synthetic thing. It's now technology rather than biology. All the way down to the very last of the original organic cells. And this brain, because it performed at the rate that it normally does, didn't notice that this was happening. And finally that last cell is shed and replaced and we have exactly the brain that was already there doing what it was already doing just instead of organic cells it's synthetic cells and I'm still in it it's still me from my point of view because that was going to happen anyway with organic cells so now if we did this to you, where are you? Are you with the organic cells that have been shed and died? Or are you in this fully functioning brain that has been made identical to your brain in the same way that your brain would have regenerated itself? Are you in this brain? Now, if such a thing were to become possible, where we could move our individual sense of self, our consciousness, our identity, everything that makes us who we are into this synthetic brain, we could, theoretically, plug this brain into an enormous computer with all of the other brains in the world and essentially uh, upload your personality into this enormous uh, I'm not going to say matrix <laughs> but <laughs> this great big program of complexity and organization uh, you could be in there with all of the other brains one great big unified cosmic mind. And if 
such a thing were possible and it was all we were all just one enormous brain uh, what would we do would we just sit there and be pleased with ourselves uh, eventually I think we would have the collective idea that we would like to do something other than just floating around in the nether uh, doing nothing uh, I think that we would combine our efforts and make a universe to live in to entertain ourselves primarily and if that was something that theoretically could be possible then it is also theoretically possible that this has already occurred and that is where we currently are impossibly impossibly <laughs> possibly the the what we think of as the big bang was just what it looks like from inside of our program from the point where the the, the power button was pressed <laughs> and and our program began Bye for now.